Thank you for your interest in the water crystals and the water crystal connections. The intention of the water crystals is to send and receive our love and gratitude to our water. We are sending love and gratitude to the waters in our homes, our communities, our lakes, rivers, oceans, seas, and the waters in our bodies. The quartz crystal has really many fascinating properties. And one of the most beautiful gifts I find is the court's ability to listen to our hearts and our spirits for our love and our gratitude. The court's crystal holds our love in a sacred space as it also sends and receives continuously our message, creating a living prayer, creating a continuous flow of love energy between us, our water crystals, and our water. So every time we say our prayer or send love and gratitude to our water, we are also sending it to each other. It was really Dr. Masaru Yamoto who challenged the way we looked at water. He challenged the way we interacted with water and how we felt about water. Dr. Yamoto discovered that water was the most receptive of the four elements to human emotions. One of the most amazing discoveries during the experiments was that love and gratitude would make beautiful crystals even in water that was void of any kind of energy. In fact, we're finding that our water has been through so much pressure and trauma and human emotions and all the other things that we dump into our water systems that by the time the water gets into our homes and comes out of our tap water, it is void of energy. It is it is almost dead water. After a lot of research and trial and error, we realized that the easiest way to reach our water system was right in our home. We had to come up with something that was inexpensive, easy to install, and not in the way or cause any kind of contamination or issues with the water. It was really exciting when we had the first water crystal design created. Each water crystal is hand and good with the message of love and gratitude. The first water crystal was actually called a water chime and it was a tanky water chime because it was made to go into the back of your toilet tanks. There's a source of clean water that had access to the rest of the house. It was easy to install and a safe spot. This past year, we have changed our name to Water Crystals and the Water Crystal Connections. The Thank You Chimes are now called Water Crystals. And so when you go to install them, take the lid off the top of your toilet tank. Find a space, hang your crystal inside the tank, and find a space where you can lean it against the back wall so that when you flush it, it won't get caught into any of the, the interior um, components of your toilet. Once you find a great spot and a good length, use the blue tack to put it against the line to securely hold your water crystal into place. Once your crystal is secure, put the top back on your toilet tank and there you go. This would be a great time to add your own prayers, love, and gratitude. Next we have the window crystals. You can hang your window crystal in your window, on a mirror, on the wall, any place that is dry. Some of the stones we use in the window crystals are not meant to be submerged in water long term. Many people are enjoying the window crystals as it gives us a daily reminder to send our blessings to our water. For those of us who travel and on the go, we have the traveling water keychains. Blessings on the go. Our sacred cosmic ice crystals also make wonderful pocket crystals. These cosmic ice crystals can be shared with the open waters of our rivers, our lakes, our ponds, the seas, and the ocean. Cosmic ice crystals have even been used um, out into the woods and other places in Mother Nature where we would like to leave a blessing and then include the water crystals and the water crystal connection. Please join us on the website for other water crystal styles and future updates on some projects we are working on. Thank you so much.